life is about that fear of losing everything for something better. You light the sky on fire when it's raining on us. Octavian. Een veelzijdige artiest die zich door alle genres en stijlen laat inspireren. Want het laatste wat hij wil zijn is voorspelbaar. Na twee mixtapes te hebben uitgebracht, komt hij binnenkort met zijn debuutalbum. Een album die wordt geëxecutive produced door niemand minder dan Skepta. When you listen to your early work, it seems kind of like hard, maybe even a little bit angry. But when it comes to your newer stuff, you sound softer, a little bit nicer. And I was wondering, does that reflect your journey so far? I think, I think it does, yeah, because um, um, when when I was younger, I, I had a lot of things going on in my life. Mm. I mean, I was like homeless and shit, and I was like, and um, obviously uh, my family, I, I didn't have none. Do you know what I mean, I was I wasn't raised normally. Do you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like, um, yeah, I had a lot of anger, especially being raised in like two different fucked up cities. When you're poor, isn't it like? Because London, when you're poor, is kind of is is kind of alright, but it's is unforgiving. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you, you get a lot knowing that other people have so much. Do you know what I'm saying? So that makes you kind of like have that fire in your belly and, and really angry. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I was jamming with like the, the mad people and whatever. Can I be by your side? Now I learned a lot about life through obviously everything that's gone on in my life. I learned a lot about like wisdom and like keeping it calm and like everything will be okay. Do you know what I'm saying? As long as you keep positive and like, you have a positive, calm mind state. But how did you get there? Did you have like somebody you could fall back on? Did you have somebody who could guide you? Or there was there was a lot of lucky events in my life that made me now really happy with how I am. Mm. But a lot of con- consecutive like crazy exaggeratively bad events do you know what I mean that make me like who I am mm-hmm. and it's, it's just um uh, and and people go through it a lot of people that, that go through struggle end up being like sh- like the opposite of, if they want to be but I, then um I was about some, to say yeah some people some people stay how they are they they, they kind of just give up or whatever that's actually what I wanted to um to talk to people about, to, to kind of like um, change that. What I really want to do in my life is kind of like change that mentality in the future for young people to kind of have this this um, idea that if you start low, then you're destined to be low. Life is about that fear of losing everything for something better. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. It, that is the fight that you have to try and achieve in your life. Some people are happy being who they are. Do you know what I mean? Mm, okay, yeah. But I feel like they're, 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 they are scared of the unknown. And a, a lot of people are, isn't it? Some people don't even want to get out of a relationship because they are scared of the new thing after that. Do you mm-hmm. understand? Comfortability is like one of the biggest drugs in the world. Mm-hmm. Like it's, comfortable feeling like you know everywhere like even even staying in a certain area for the whole for the rest of your life is because of like comfortability your 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 fear of the unknown yeah so would you say because when i look at your life story so far that you've been very comfortable with being uncomfortable for a while i was actually forced to be comfortable with being with risking my life mm-hmm. um, I want to uh, ask you about a story and you need to tell me if it's true. But I read that when you were 14 years old, you were hanging around the Supreme store and then Skepta came walking by and then you asked him if he could listen to your music. And he was like, nope. And yeah. now he's the executive producer of your debut album. Exactly. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, like a lot of things happened in my life that was like... Um, That was like that, like 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 actual like it's weird. So how did the collaboration with with Skepta come about? Like how did that happen? Uh, I made <clears throat> he followed me like back in the day when I re- released like Spaceman. Yeah. And then when I released uh, Bet 
I've actually released that track and it was just me and Michael Phantom. And then Skepta commented and then I was just like, you know, fuck it, I'm just gonna ask him, like, do you wanna jump on the track? And then, and then I, I, I sent it to him and he was like, who else is on it? I was like, no one. And he was like, send me the thing. And then, and then he sent it back in like four days, but we had, we bet was already out, innit? Like it was, it was actually doing numbers and doing well. Yeah. And then when Skepta jumped on it, we took it off and then we re-released it, which was mad. But, it worked out. Cool. And so when when now he's the executive producer, what does that really what does it mean when somebody executive produces your To me to me it means that he's just there to kind of look over the album and 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 like have a the final opinion. He he was kinda of like this I don't know how to explain it, like they kind of like he overlooked the whole fucking shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was just he was just like listening to music and saying, Okay, this one is the one, this one no, I don't know. Obviously, with his experience of being like the king of of of, of London, the king of the UK, mm -hmm. for me, um, I just wanted his opinion. Yeah, um, and his opinion was very valid all the time. He was very like, um, he was very understanding, and he, he he even though like me and his music is different, it was it's it's the same mentality. So it was like it was very easy to work with him. Yeah, he's like older brother. It, I mean, it's still so cool when you think about the 14 year old Octavian. And how old are you now? I'm 24. 24. And well, it's literally 10 years later. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, let's talk about the, the first single, but I, actually, I should say two singles that you uh, brought out. They perfectly flow together Rari Chapter One, on which you collaborate with Future. How did that happen? <coughs> I made Rari in LA with um, Jimmy Stack. He came to my house and he, he played me this instrument and I was like, I just woken up and just like now. I was like, you know, fuck it, let me jump on it. I jumped on it. It was it, it was the perfect sonic for and it was kind of like an it it, it sounds more American than English. Mm -hmm. Actually looking at the fucking stats of it, it's actually fifty percent or sixty percent uh American listeners. Okay. Which is mad um, for 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 artists in the UK. That's that's kind of weird, isn't it? Chapter one was actually another track by Jimmy Stack yeah. that we did that same night, and then we did a whole track. Well done. And then we did, yeah, we did a whole track together. Yeah. Um, but then we was like, you know what? Like, let, let's let, let's show the the difference and let's see if people kind of react good to changing up the music so this was my like first test because the album is so like so many different um styles i, I just wanted to put it together to, to to test the people and see how they reacted to it mm -hmm. um and they reacted well to it so like they are people that are open to like adaptive sounds which is good awesome and is there already a title for the album when is the album coming <laughs> or is it still a secret the album is so secret right now. It's on the top okay. But um, it's coming out very, very soon. So soon. Okay. Awesome.